Welcome all. Break down city. Let's kick it! Guys, welcome back to Breakdown City. We got Mikey from Savage Hands over here. What's up? And we got a new pick for King. Um, we're gonna check out. Hell yeah, I've been super stoked uh, after the release of all the singles that they've had. Um, you know, I'm I'm big on growth and and change. I'm in a band that's experiencing it right now, so I love the direction that they've been going with the singles, and I follow all of them. I listen to Tuck's podcast, so I know that they've been receiving a bit of like hate from the from some of the older Fit for a King stands that are like, "Oh, we creation destruction," you know, or like right, yeah, uh, stuff like that. But we we experience the same thing, and I'm a huge advocate for like growth, like I just said. So I'm super stoked on it. I know you are too. Oh, dude, I I am ready for this album. Um, oh, yeah. Like I said, like. Especially after, I mean, they released uh, Annihilation, which, you know, you listen to. Yeah. Um, I get it, there was to, kind of some, like, repetitive parts in there, but <clears throat> I think it was, like, a good repetitive. Yeah. Um, and even I remember Ryan Kirby did saying that if you're looking for a heavy, you know, you're not going to like these singles. Yeah. Um, just, you know, and I feel like they kind of saved the heaviness for the grand finale. And especially with them going back to Drew Falk for recording, it's the second time you know, ever going back to the same recorder as they did for Dark Skies. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I'm really excited to get into this uh, album. Yeah, I think it's important. Um, these three singles, they were very... Uh, they they can showcase towards more of a wider variety of fans and new people that they may not have been able to reach uh, with just a straight-up heavy song. Because... In the rock world, you know, we're so divided by these subgenres that have been created throughout the years. And, you know, they can put themselves in a box and, and make, you know, this, this quarter of people happy. Or they can go outside the box and get this big of a range of people. And then this little corner of people that they were going to make happy if they would have made a heavy song there single you know and put all that money into the marketing they would have it wouldn't have done as well you know like with all the the money that they spend on the marketing you want a song that can be pushed to a wider range of people so i think they did the right thing yeah, i definitely think that's the path that they're taking a, yeah the path. yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, the, hey maybe <laughs> um but I, I like i said i would not say that they're going soft in any way no um, the, the the singles are still punchy like it's still it's still fit for a king. Nothing about it, uh, like screams like, "Oh my god, this is a different band. They're going a different direction." Like, sure, yeah, they're putting a different spin on it, but it's still fit for a king, and I love it. I think we're ready to get into it. I'm, I'm ready. I mean, we got breakdown city tickets on standby, like always. Yes. Um, <laughs> so yeah, the first track, the face of hate. Let's go ahead and just kick this shit. Let's kick it. <laughs> 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 Stay stealing my mojo. Yeah. <laughs> you hear it? Oh, that bass. Riff is so sick. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Yeah, that was sick. Yeah. <laughs> a little reverse snare. The drums sound so good. The chorus coming up. Your thoughts on that one i liked it it was definitely it's funny because when my band recorded our first record like it was such a task to figure out what the opening track was going to be i feel like when they recorded this album and they had all their tracks laid out that was probably an easy pick as an opener like it just sounds like an opener to me and it's it's good you yeah, know i definitely i got it kind of remind me of like like a Christmas vibe, like a guitar world, <laughs> like, like like the Transide Band Orchestra or something. Yeah, like it definitely has like like a, a huge spectrum that like people that are in the music world, um, when you're writing songs and you're writing riffs, like you kind of compare it to like how it would feel live. And to me, like it just feels like that song just needs to be blasted in a in, a, in an arena or something like they could even open up the show with that song that's what i think oh yeah and i definitely i mean i knew that the uh like reverse snares are going to come out uh, yeah that, how, that like Jared likes to do that or his snare bombs he likes to do so yeah, that definitely caught caught me by surprise like like you said i i knew they're going to be in they're going to be filled throughout the record but like i wasn't expecting that one in that first verse or that build up I think it was. I was just like, what the heck? Yeah, and a double kick. Was it's really sick. Too, so. Yeah. Um, and I was Kirby singing on the chorus. Yeah. So he's no, been, he's... Uh, been taking over the role of Tuck, or does Tuck still have some small parts, I believe, so... So, from from what I've gathered, uh, listening to Tuck's podcast, I think, you know, he can correct me if he watches this, but I, I think from what I remember him saying is that, like, I guess his voice doesn't, like, cater well anymore, I guess. I don't know. I think they're, they're newer... Their newer guitarist, he sings as well, and apparently he has a beautiful voice. Oh, and yeah, Kirby, Dan, yeah. Daniel from Finney's. Yeah, yeah. And, and Kirby has come into his singing voice as well. So, um, I like where it's going. I, you know, it's 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 definitely a good a good thing that he started singing, uh, or you know, started it back up because from what I remember, he did do a little bit of singing on one of their older records, I think. So. Right. Yeah, definitely. Definitely sick. All right, so we're going to get into the next track. Hell yeah. 